Hey, what's up, everybody? So this is my first time in my classroom in like 10 months. So uh, I just turned on all these computers, something about 32 computers, going to let them update. So got a lot of work to do. I'm going to take you behind the scenes. Um, I've got some closets over there as well, and those are packed with stuff. So yeah, stay tuned for the mess and for the conclusion to that. I got to get my classroom started. All right, so um, I gotta go through all the Macs first. The Dells that are in this classroom, they're hooked up to the network, so the updates will just occur naturally, so to speak. I have to go through and turn on each one of these, get them going, and update them manually. And then uh, I got my jump drive with Adobe Creative Cloud. Instead of downloading the entire cloud package, which is like 22, 23 gigs of stuff, I'm just downloading the actual subscription cloud app right and you can download each individual app from that overall cloud and I'm gonna try it out let's see if it works okay so you know but yeah let's uh, let's get it going <laughs> Alright, so it's day four. Um, been working a lot. I've got almost all the computers ready to go. Found a few dud computers, some that are just too old that a new operating system won't reboot. Um, Photoshop never worked good on those things anyways. I've been downloading Photoshop, Adobe Audition, Premiere Pro, After Effects, etc. And next on the list is I'm going to download Unity, and that's for my video game design students. So let's go ahead and get that done. So Unity is the engine that we're going to use in our classroom this year for game design. And there's a bunch out there, but Unity is good for both beginners and advanced learners. With Unity, we can do a lot of cool stuff. You can create not only games, but you can create apps. And you can also create augmented reality and even virtual reality things as well. One of the cool uh, apps that I know of that Unity made was Pokemon Go. But looking at their website, you can see that it's a lot about things for creators. You can create games. You can use Unity for the automotive industry, for the filming and animation industry, as well as architecture, engineering, and construction. So the course that I'm teaching is actually game design and not game development. However, we're going to be introduced to a game development platform, and this is what we're going to use. 
There's lots of cool stuff here. And so yeah, I better download this to all the computers. That way it'll be ready to go for the students. All right, so that wraps up this week, and I had a lot to do, still got a lot to do, and so next week um, I got to download more programs onto the computers, get that going for students, they start soon, and um, I plan on actually vlogging more of my day-to-day -day activities to bring you behind the scenes of what it's like to be me as a teacher in the media arts department, all right? So don't forget to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.